Look what I found in the new bins. Santa and Mrs. Claus. And a hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill bins. Like I always say, it's a treasure hunt. So let's go inside and see what we can find today. You guys, Mother Nature must be in a fantastic mood today because it is flipping gorgeous here in Iowa. Like gorgeous, the sun is shining, it is really warm. I'm loving it. <laughs> and I see some cards. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, and I just got here and they're taking it away. Hard goods, yes. Look what I found in the new bins. Santa and Mrs. Claus, Annalise. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if there's anything else in here that I like. I like this groovy phone case. I like a groovy phone case. I just found two quilts in the soft goods. So that is awesome. I'm pretty excited about those. I gotta unfold them and make sure they're nice, but they look pretty good. A donut. She'll want these hats. Pick those up and see if Alex will want those hats. Not that one. I know she won't want that one. I don't know if she'll want the other ones either, but we will see. Bungee straps in there. And a dream catcher. Beat up. I'm actually not doing too bad today. I wasn't for sure if I was going to be able to find anything or not, but... and I have found a few things. Wine time. That wasn't all messed up. It's all messed up. I like the colored ones, like the pink ones and the turquoise ones. Those are fun. I like the kitschy colors. So you can have a nice kitschy Christmas. with bugs. Oh my goodness, that is so kitschy. That's adorable. Oh, I'm definitely gonna take that. Definitely, definitely. I think it's a pillow cover. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I wonder if there's any more in here. I'm gonna have to 
look real good. Because they might be, and I might have missed them. That'd be cool if there was a pair. That's all broken in rough shape. It's cute if they wouldn't be broken. Santa baby. <laughs> Look at that. It's in really, really rough shape. Some sort of like paper mache dragonfly. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Taking away hard goods. Gonna bring out some new hard goods. My cart's already filling up though, see that? It's already filling up. Bye bye. Here's the new ones that they're rolling out right now. It's a pretty decoration. So they called out they were bringing new soft goods and I was digging, digging and look what I found. A chenille blanket. It's got some spots and some stains on it, but you know, that could be easily taken out and washed. So my cart is full, you guys. What in the world? Blingy, blingy. <laughs> Look at this cookbook. Any blonde can do it. <laughs> Should I buy that? I'm always blaming my ditzy and it's on my blonde hair. <laughs> At least I can laugh about it, right? I'm rich. My favorite time of the day, guys. They're taking away glass. Gonna bring out new glass. Yes. So 
so I did find a few things out of the glass bins. I like this little picture. Alex's mom found me some really cute, cute ornaments. I found this really cute glass fish on wire. I think it's adorable. So now they are taking away these hard goods. I'm gonna bring out new hard goods. And this is going to be my last row because I am starving. I am so hungry. I feel like I could pass out. I need to eat. Here's the new bins. I want that plushie back there. The lady. Before we get started, whose child is that? Who does she belong to? Okay, she needs to be away from the blue bin and on with you. They made new rules that kids keep coming to the new bins anymore. No kids are allowed to be up against the blue bins. She can't be at the blue bin. Stand back. I just want to see who that lady is right there. Oh my. She is funny. She is a styling grandma. I'm putting her in my cart. I'm gonna take off here pretty soon. Like I said, I'm getting hungry. And I get to the point when I've been here all day that I just get sick of digging. My arms hurt, my hands hurt, my back hurts. <laughs> oh, don't you love listening to me ramble? Dumpster Diva picks up these turtles. Ninja turtles. These little frog gloves. All right. Let's go check out. Oh, wait, here's a Christmas pillow for mom. I'll to see if she wants that one. Mom wants Christmas pillows. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's pretty. Well, I got busy and I forgot to record an outro when I was checking out, but my total spend was $45. I got lots of fun treasures, so let's get into the haul. All right, like I said, $45 later and we made it back, so let's just get right into it. I got this amazing Annalie. Look, he's burning his little tush on the old um, stove. So stinking cute and adorable. It has a cardboard bottom, so it just sits perfectly in your collection, especially if you love Anna Lee. And he has his original tag. He's from 1963. He is from, oops, there we go, 1963. Cute, isn't that? I just think that's so adorable. Such a cute P Anna Lee piece. So I picked that one up. Then I found a kitchen witch. I found a kitchen witch. Now, her head needs to be, like, fixed or something. She's got a loose head, but look at her face. She's ceramic with a big, giant nose. 
so stinking cute and adorable and this one's a music box and it still has its tag right there and it works the music box works so cute fun kitchen witch right i love her gracie Okay, then I got a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of different pieces like this in the box. These are stoplights, especially if you like to decorate with little villages and stuff like that. These are um, vintage department 56 pieces. And so there's that one. Um, a bunch of these. Oops, there we go. Lamp posts, more of these. More stoplights. I just grabbed every single one that was in there. Here's an ornament that's really cute in the box. This Tigger ornament, really cute. And then this was exciting, but unfortunately, I was only able to find three. Oops. Come on, buddy. There we go. I was only able to find three. Two of them are gone out of the box. Um, but these are like the unbreakables, you know, kind of like the jewel brights, the plastic ones. And then they've got the starburst on the back of them. So really, really fun. So I found three of those in the box. Um, another Hallmark keepsake ornament, more of these, I picked up this box, I, it had ornaments in it, and they were just plain colored bulbs, um, and I needed boxes so i took the bot the ornaments out and put them in a bag and then put the bag in the glass bins so that way maybe somebody would want the ornaments because i didn't want the ornaments i just wanted the box i have vintage ornaments that i need a box for so i thought this would be perfect <laughs> so that's what i did this one alex's mom found me um and i just left these in the box because i love the ornaments unfortunately is missing one as you can see these are all vintage hand, like, I don't know if they're hand painted or how they painted them back then, but these are old glass ornaments. So those are really pretty. Uh, more Hallmark keepsake ornaments in the boxes. So I always, that's a no brainer. You can lot them up and sell them in lots. Um, this is a lighted village ex Accessory, Department 56, Light Brights, which, oh, it's just like the ones in the package, only he's in a styrofoam, styrofoam piece, oh my gosh, come on, these are beautiful, these were all there, yay, oops, box is upside down, <laughs> But these are beautiful, beautiful glass ornaments. Those bells are so pretty. So picked up those. I This is really dirty. It needs a good bath. This is so fun. Anthropomorphic stuff I always pick up. It is broken on the back, unfortunately, so it will no longer stand on its own. But I don't care. I still love it because it's got a face on it. So I'm going to clean it up. I am going to clean that up. And then these are my favorite out of all that stuff. I love these. They look like blow mold candles. They're miniature department 56. The lighted pieces. And then I picked up this really fun glass fish piece. This art glass fish piece. It's got like the fish on the wires. It look, makes them look like they're swimming with the seaweed going up such a fun piece. I don't know, you know, who made it. It's just a piece of art. 
piece of art. And then I'm going to lot these two together. I found two vintage Spode Christmas pieces. So a little Christmas tree uh, trinket dish type thing. Spode. And then an ornament. It's Spode as well. So I'm going to lot those two Spode pieces together and sell them in one of my upcoming live sales. And then this guy I picked up, I was not for sure about him. See, he has red eyes. So I don't know if he's a, you know, went to a toy set, if he's a certain horse from a show. I have no idea. But he is marked on the bottom, Imperial 1984, made in Hong Kong. And then somebody stuck a sticker on the bottom of him that says Ted. So I, I have no idea. I like his red eyes. They're kind of creepy. Kind of a little creepy. And then I picked up this really fun ivy pitcher. I love the starburst on the bottom. I don't know the maker. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but I like the ivy on there. And it's just a little glass pitcher. It's really cute. Really fun. It needs a bath. It's dirty on the inside. And then this really fun brass, um, oh, sand dollar. I thought that was pretty cool. It's a brass piece. You don't see these very often. Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. And then I found two beautiful quilts, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful quilts. Here is this one. I don't know if I'm doing, I don't have a whole lot of room, but I will lay it out so you guys can see it right there. How beautiful, beautiful it is. And then one more in here. This one's bigger. This one is bigger. And you can kind of see what it looks like. And I, again, I will lay it out and put the measurements up here so you guys can see what it looks like. But those were awesome pieces. Really, really, really cool to find. And then onto the sack. Okay, so I found a bunch of vintage. Oh, these are falling over. Um, vintage pillow covers, embroidered pillow covers. They're so cute. So here's this one. See, they had pillows inside of them at one point, but somebody took the pillows out. Or the stuffing, one of the two, stuffing your pillows. But it's so cute. It's all embroidered. So there's that one. And I'm going to lot these all in one lot probably. Because I found a few of them. And Alex found a couple too. So thanks, Alex. This one's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, how stinking adorable is that little sailor boy? Again, it is all embroidered. So cute, even the edge. That... And then I don't know where the other ones are. I'll get to the other ones here in just a minute. Um, then I found this really cute embroidered piece. I like that. I found some pot holders. Vintage. Two, these two match. And then this one, they're all like, um, you know, knitted, I guess. I don't know, they're really nice. And a really cute vintage, the Chanel pipe cleaner magnet. It's an old magnet. That's cute. Um, a This is going to go into a treasure bag. It is Grandma's brag book. So cute. You can put little pictures in there. Little photo album. A metal egg basket. Really cute with the handle, wire handles, and then you can open it like, see how it opens and closes? It's cute. I like it. It's very primitive. So I thought that was a fun piece. 
I got stuff for a treasure bag. This owl trivet. Metal owl trivet. A vintage reindeer, which he'll probably go into a Christmas treasure bag. A little beaded coin purse I thought was cute. Another little leather coin purse. It's a peacock. A Hummel, little Hummel plate. Thought that was cute. This vintage Santa ornament. He is marked on the bottom, Japan. This tiny little Santa, plastic Santa. A shell turtle. He's cute with his glasses. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny flamingo. And then a vintage barrette with the pearls. So that was all I had found for the treasure bag. Not a whole lot this time, unfortunately. Maybe I'll make a treasure bag up that has part Christmas and part regular vintage treasures. Maybe I'll do that. We'll have to see. And I picked up a scarf. A vintage pretty scarf. I like picking these silk scarves up because I put them in lots and they're they are lightweight. So they don't weigh a whole lot. I found, well, Alex's mom found me another kitchen witch. I don't know what she's made out of. I have no idea, but she's pretty cool, right? She's flying on her broomstick. <laughs> and then two Annalise, an Annalise Santa and an Annalise Mrs. Claus. They are absolutely stinking adorable. They love each other. And I can't read what year he's from. I would assume I got them together um, at the same, out of the same bin at the same place. So I would assume they're both, this one is from 1967. See his tag sewn into his, so you can't see, but she's marked 1967. Cute pair. Love Annalise so, so, so much. That was cool. And then Alex found me this. This is a little vintage quilt. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. I'll lay it all out and post a picture in the measurements right there for you guys. It's all embroidered. Oh, here's another one of those pillow covers. Those vintage pillow covers. So, again, these will go in a lot all together. Oh, this one's stinking adorable. Oh, how cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then I picked up a vintage um, tablecloth. The package has been opened, but it still has. Look at that. How fun is that? I just like that paper in there, but it's the whole tablecloth. It's in good shape. I like it. It's an old thin one. It's got like, you can tell it's like the vintagey one. Kind of got the bumps on there. I like it. So that went in my cart. And then a beautiful, beautiful beaded purse. I love the top. You open up it. Inside is in good condition and look at its vintage label. It was made in Italy. Made in Italy. So that was a really fun find. Beautiful, beautiful. And then the last thing that I picked up is this gorgeous Chanel blanket. Vintage Chanel blanket. It does have some stains on it. Um, you know, some little spots like it could use some a stain treatment. I don't care. It's vintage Chanel. You don't see these very often, and it's so pretty. This one with its decorative colors on there. 
I will take a picture and lay it out right here so you guys can see what it looks like. But that is my haul, guys. That is it. That is everything I got for $45. I don't think I did too bad. Um, what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. And I can let you know if, I, if it will be available in a live sale or if I will sell it outright. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new picking and haul videos and when I have pop-up live sales because I do a lot of pop-up live sales throughout the week. So if you are subscribed, you'll get a notification um, when I have those. If you like these fun treasures that I find, more than likely that's where they'll be for sale. And I just remembered, I also picked up two Christmas pillows for mom that are in my Jeep. I didn't bring them in. Um, so that was part of the haul as well, the two Christmas pillows. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.